So number seven then from the specimen paper for this new hire, paper two. A little sort of true-false question. This seems to be like the one you used to have in the multiple choice, the multiple selection thing. You had a couple of statements, you had to decide is one true or both true and so on. Only here, of course, you have to write it out properly and justify it. Well, statement A. Is the value of this when you put zero in for t equal to 30? Well, that's fairly straightforward. P of zero would be 30 times e to the zero minus two. So that's 30 e to the negative two. That's like 30 divided by e squared. Now e is a number that's like almost three. That's like 30 divided by nine. So obviously that's not true, but I think you'd have to teach just take it down to a number so you can see that number isn't 30, even though you know whatever this come to, it comes to is a lot less than 30. So you just type in 30e to the negative 2, you press the button, and it actually comes to 4.06, etc. So that means it's false, but I have to give a reason. And the reason is, so I have to make a statement. Statement A is false, as p of 0 is not equal to 30. There's the justification, there's your statement. B's got this part, the only possible value of T. This little business about only could be troublesome. Apart from that, you're just going to figure out, is that true? Well, there's two ways. You could put 1.3 into this and see if the answer's 15, but it does say that rounded off to one decimal place. So maybe it'd be better doing that the other way round and just figuring out what is t for an answer of 15. If 30e to the t minus 2 has to give you 15, then e to the t minus 2 would be equal to a half. So t minus 2 would be inverse of e as ln a half. So t is going to be ln a half plus 2. So as before, you just type that in and you get... 1.306 etc. So that means t equals 1.3 to one decimal place. So for this only part, you meant to just say something like, well, there's only one value for the log n of a half. But strictly speaking, the real reason is because this function here is a one-to-one -one function. For every value of t, there's only one value of this and vice versa because the graph of e looks like this, one to one. For every value of t, there's only one value of y, and vice versa. Still, I've got to finish it off. Statement b is true, as p of t equals 15 for t equals 1.3 to one decimal place, and there is only one value of t for each value of p of t. Seems a bit excessive to have to put all that down. Best place safe. Even put a little sketch to prove it.